Hello everyone, welcome back to another Piss Ants video. Today marks a significant milestone as the first Niantics of my main colonies have been born. These colonies include my meat ant queen, my 10 colony pavement ant queen, and my two different Carpenatus queens. I caught most of these queens around three months ago, and today they were receiving their first meal. A drop of honey and a freshly killed ant. P.S. I'm not entirely sure if you can feed ants ants, but oh well. Righto, let's get into the feeding. I'll start with my meat ant queen, which has three Niantics, all of which were very enthusiastic. I even had one escape, which was extremely stressful for me. My 10 queen pavement ant colonies feeding was a much smoother process, and they started feeding straight away, probably due to the amount of workers they have running around. My carpenter banded sugar ant queen was very still and shy when I put the food in and didn't want to move an inch. The last queen I fed was a carpenter species of ant, but I'm not entirely sure what species. So if you know, then please let me know in the comments. I then left them in the dark for a while so I can check up on them soon. In the meantime, here's a quick update of what's happened in the last few weeks. I've had many ant deaths. These queen deaths included a carpenter banded sugar ant that I found with mould growing on her, which was very disappointing as she had a nice pile of brood. Another death was a pavement ant queen that had a massive amount of mould growth on her cotton ball, which likely led to her death. The final death was another banded sugar ant queen that died due to mould. These queen deaths show you just how important hygiene is for your ants and how deadly a mould outbreak can be. I posted a short a couple of weeks ago on my Anagamora queens and I realised that I made a huge mistake. When putting the two test tubes together, the ants had lost their chance to get oxygen, which led to many of them dying. Luckily, three were still alive all of which were not doing too well. So I came up with an idea to put them all in one container and see what would happen. At first glance, it seemed fine, but I'll update you if anything changes in the future. So stick around. To ensure the ants would not escape, I got some Glad wrap and put it over the top of the container before putting a lid on as these ants are tiny. When checking back up on the colonies, three out of the four of them were doing really well and eating their food. Although the carpenter banded sugar ant was still stunned and in the same spot as last time. I hope it's fine. Anyway, we will see. I thank you all for watching and if you made it this far, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for future ant content and giveaways. Cheers.